This is Danny from Cultural Leadership Today, and I'm with Captain Amy Fiedler, call sign Rebel. What, what motivates you to be as a female pilot in, and like you said, you want to be in NASA? What motivates you to be now flying for you know where? So the motivation, um, I don't think it's gender specific. I, you know, I'll say that a lot. Where um, I never grew up thinking, oh, you know, I can't do something uh, because of my gender because I didn't have anybody in my life telling me that that was a thing that was going to hold me back. So really what inspired me to be an aviator uh, was, you're right, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a little kid and then I kind of took a different path. Once I started flying, I realized that was what I wanted to do with my career. So I became a civilian flight instructor, um, we call it general aviation, GA. So I spent about 10 years doing that before I joined the military and then uh, joining the military, it was an easy decision for me once I realized I did have that opportunity. Um, I learned about officer school. So officer school, you can apply for after you already have obtained a four-year degree and you don't have another commissioning source. So I did not do ROTC or an academy. Uh, so I didn't know that I had the chance to then join the military as an officer and be a pilot. Um, once I learned about that opportunity, um, it was an easy decision because I wanted to give back and I could already do what I loved doing, which is flying, and I could also give back. So it was kind of the perfect scenario for me. Um, I got the best of both worlds. So did you fly from South Carolina over here to Improve Valley? Uh, we did, but our team, we're on a little bit of, we call it a road uh, show or a road trip. Uh, so we started our season in Laredo, that was, gosh, two weeks ago. And then we spent last week in Tucson, Arizona, training with the Heritage Flight Program, which you guys will get to see all the things we learned this weekend, because I will be flying with those planes. And then now we're here. So we've been gone for about three weeks, and uh, we're going to stay on the road after this. So it's kind of a bit of a travel gig. You love traveling? A lot of traveling, a lot. On this jet? Oh yes, we take the jets. Uh, these are the, the two airplanes that you'll see this weekend. Um, these are the two jets that our team, uh, we don't own, they're on loan to us from the 20th Fighter Wing at Shaw Air Force Base, but these are the only jets that we travel with. And you like Imperial Valley? Say again. You like Imperial Valley, our area? Yeah, the weather has been great. I think we have great weather for this weekend, so uh, put on your sunscreen. Uh, but yeah, it's, it looks like it's going to be beautiful, sunny, 75 degrees all weekend. And what was your motivation in your family to brought you where you're at. Who was your motivation to in your family that made you become where you're at? So I don't have any military ties in my uh, immediate family. Um, my si older sister is a Marine. I think uh, kind of what I tell everyone is you have to be qualified for the things you want to do in life. And so my parents, I'm one of uh, five children, or one of six, so I, um, I'm number, um, I have come from a large family. So I have uh, five siblings and all of us are doing something very different in life. But I think it's because my parents taught us at a young age uh, to be qualified for what you want to do. So uh, we were held to a high standard when it came to grades, when it came to athletics, when it came to music. And that kind of just molded me into the type of person that I am today where I'm always going to work hard at what I do. And that's kind of like the personality of our entire team. Uh, we're so small and we function on the road with limited supplies and limited limited maintenance materials, but we're able to make this huge thing happen. Um, like I said, we've been on the road for almost a month now and they've broken, or you know, I've broken the jets, they've fixed them. So everybody has that attitude of we're going to work hard and we're going to make it happen. My last question is, what do you think about um, heritage, much, women's heritage, much? what do you want to tell the ladies out there in the United States? So I think, uh, you know, again, not gender specific, but, um, you know, it is important to realize where we've come from. So there was a time in life where women were not allowed to be in a fighter jet or in a combat role. But what I want to say now is that that has changed. It's been over 30 years since women have been allowed to fly fighter jets and be in combat roles. So it's time for the American public to change their perception so that I'm not getting asked questions like this because things have been different for a really long time. And to the general public, they don't see it, but I see women pilots every day. I've worked with women pilots throughout my entire career. So for me, um, it wasn't until I started getting these questions at air shows and in the public that I realized that the perception is still so far behind. We're almost 30 years behind in our perception, whereas the Air Force and the military is 30 years ahead because no one's holding us back, no one's telling us no. As long as we can meet the mission, we're able to be there. So um, I want the general public to understand that from the inside looking out is very different from the outside looking in. And so women are doing amazing things. They have been for years and years and years. And 
As the demo pilot, I'm proud to represent both the amazing like men and women that I work with because I'm out here representing all the F-16 pilots who are you know, downrange right now, um, flying caps and doing all these things for the U.S. And so I get to represent them on the road and everyone that I've met that's been in a squadron uh, is an amazing human.